Hey guys, it's Chase here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about hopping with dualies, which in my opinion is an essential skill for every dually player to learn. The truth is, this was a guide that has been in the back burner for quite a while now. I had aspirations of making it near the end of Splatoon 2's life cycle, but then I decided against it because that game was about to die, but then Splatoon 3 came out and I had so many other important things to make videos on. But now, finally, the time has come. Let's go over everything there is to know about dually hopping. So hopping with dualies is something that goes over a lot of people's heads, and there's two reasons for that. One, people tend to just put a lot of emphasis on dodge rolling and not even think about alternative movement options. Two, dually hopping requires a decent amount of coordination and muscle memory to be able to incorporate it into your gameplay. But with just a little bit of practice, you can learn it relatively quickly. But like substrafing, you need to be committed to learning it. Now, why should you hop with dualies? What purpose does it serve? You'd think it'd be pretty useless on dualies, since this is the weapon class that has the worst mid-air RNG spread due to its wide reticles. But that's actually far from the case. Well, mostly. It depends on the type of dual you're using. More on that later. But to answer the question of why hopping is useful, well, there's two reasons. The first, and what I'd probably call the main reason, is that hopping can throw your opponents off. Many people who are fighting dualies will often predict them to dodge roll, so if they suddenly see you move vertically, it'll most likely confuse them. The second reason is that jumping can slightly extend your effective range, as is the case with all other weapons. To hop with dualies, you need to set your left stick back to neutral for a split second while you press B. In other words, just let go of the left stick really quickly before you jump. Otherwise, you'll just end up performing a dodge roll. If you've never tried it before, it does seem a little intimidating and unnecessary to learn, but I promise, it's really not that hard to get the hang of. And once you do learn it, it can give you an edge in all of your engagements. As I mentioned earlier, the value of hopping can vary depending on which type of dually you're using. So what I'm going to do is give each of the five dually types a ranking, letting you know how useful hopping is for each one. Also, I'll give a recommendation for how much intensify action you should run with each of these weapons, as this ability can help increase your mid-air jump accuracy. Now, one quick disclaimer before we get into this. I want to make it clear that I'm not saying that hopping with dualies is something that you should be doing all the time. It's a situational skill. The point of this video is for you to be aware that it is an option and having the ability to apply it to your gameplay when it's necessary is what's going to separate you from other dually players. Now, with that being said, let's get to ranking. First up, we have the Tetra Duallys. I'm someone who's tried to incorporate hopping into my playstyle a lot with this weapon, and after a ton of experimenting, I'm going to give Tetras a 3 star rating. Hopping can be somewhat useful on it. Note that you'll rarely hit all four of your shots while hopping, but rather, you'll only hit one or two. After those shots hit, then you'll immediately want to start a dodge roll sequence. This way, your opponent will already be partially damaged before you even start your four dodge rolls. As a result, it'll make finishing them off much easier, since there's less of a chance of you not being able to kill them before you get stuck in your end lag. This principle can be applied to every dually when it comes to hopping, but I do find it helping on Tetra a decent amount. I don't recommend running any more than one sub of Intensify Action on this weapon. Next are the dually squelchers. Hopping is great on these, and I'm not talking about the jump tech. Just hopping normally like this is certainly viable. While these certainly don't have the best accuracy in the world, you'll be surprised by just how consistent this thing's midair accuracy can be. However, if you are interested in hopping with these, you're going to want to run a decent amount of Intensify Action, as it will really help you out. Most top players tend to run at least a main on this weapon, but you can even run a little more if you find yourself enjoying its benefits. Overall, I'm going to give Dually Squelchers a use rating of 3.5 out of 5. Next, we have the Gluga Duallys. Now, this weapon is kind of the odd one out. Hopping with Glugas just isn't super useful for two reasons. One, it has the worst mid-air accuracy of any dually by far. And also, partially damaging an opponent and then starting a dodge roll sequence is kinda pointless. 
With how bad this thing's mid-air accuracy is, you'll be lucky to just hit one shot. And if you do hit that one shot, it's still going to take two hits in turret mode to kill the opponent anyways. Again, it's really just kind of pointless with these. Run no intensify action, and don't try it. Our fourth dually to discuss are the dapple duallys, and hopping is very useful with these. Dapples have pretty decent mid-air accuracy, so can actually hit all three of its shots in the air pretty reliably. But perhaps even more importantly, hopping can help out with dapples range. As you probably know, this thing's range is abysmal. But if you hop, well, it's still pretty abysmal. But it can definitely help if used correctly. Dapple duallys get a 4.5 out of 5 on the useful scale. I'd recommend running either one or two subs of intensify action for these, whichever one you prefer. I personally run two. Last, but certainly not least, we have the splat duallys. This is the best dually for hopping, period. Its mid-air accuracy is incredible, even without intensify action. But running a few subs of it can make you almost as accurate as a shooter who is mid-air. Plus, this thing's amazing fire rate helps also. If you watch any top level splat dually player, you'll see them doing this constantly. It's just that good. The splat duallys gets a 5 out of 5 star rating on the useful scale. I would run anywhere from 2-3 to three subs of intensified action on these. Any more is overkill if you ask me.